In this chapter, the behavior of gases will be discussed. It is recommended to review the kinetic theory for gases. Gas particles are assumed to be small, hard spheres with an insignificant volume. Gas particles move constantly and very rapidly. When particles collide, they change direction. All collisions are elastic, so there is no loss in energy. In a collection of particles at a given temperature, the particles have a wide range of kinetic energy. The average value of the kinetic energy of any substance is directly proportional to the substance's temperature in Kelvin. A gas expands to fill its container. In gases, the space between particles is much greater than in a solid or a liquid, so gases are easy to compress or squeeze into a smaller space. Compressibility is a measure of how much the volume of matter decreases under pressure. Kinetic theory explains why gases compress more easily than liquids or solids. The volume of the gas particles is small compared to the overall volume of the gas, which translates into a great distance between particles in a gas. If the pressure is increased, the particles in a gas are forced closer together or compressed. For variables are used to describe a gas. These variables are pressure, volume, temperature, and number of moles. The table shows the symbol and unit for each variable. Important remark, these units have to be used with the gas laws. When you add more gas particles, the pressure in the container increases. If you double the number of particles, the pressure will double. Gas pressure depends only on the number of particles in a given volume and on their average kinetic energy, which is function of the temperature in Kelvin. The kind of particles does not matter. What is the relationship between volume and pressure? The particles of gas in the cylinder container are moving. Those particles colliding with the walls of the container create pressure. If you push the piston down, you decrease the volume. The same number of particles crowd into a smaller space. So the gas particles collide with the walls more often, so the pressure increases. What is the relationship between temperature and pressure? Adding heat to a gas increases the kinetic energy of the molecules. Faster moving molecules hit the wall with more energy. So, the pressure increases. When the temperature increases enough, the pressure may cause the container to burst. Now we will review some of the important gas laws in chemistry. Boyle studied the relationship between the pressure and volume of a gas at constant temperature. He found that the gas volume varies inversely with the pressure. In this example we notice that as the volume is reduced with a factor of 2, the pressure is increased with a factor of 2. Or in other words, the pressure times volume is a constant. The equation shown expresses Boyle's law mathematically. Note that this is only valid for a constant temperature before and after the change. The product of pressure times volume is the same before and after the change, when the temperature remains constant. Charles found that in an experiment in which the pressure of the gas is kept constant, the ratio of the volume to the Kelvin temperature remains constant. In other words, to keep the same pressure when the Kelvin gas temperature is increased, the volume occupied by the gas must increase as well. Gay-Lussac found that in an experiment where the volume of the gas is kept constant, the ratio of the pressure to the temperature remains constant. In other words, if you heat a gas in a sealed container, the temperature and pressure increase. The ratio of pressure to the temperature in Kelvin will be the same before the change and after the change. We can also say that the pressure of a gas is directly proportional to the Kelvin temperature if the volume remains constant. The combined gas law is the law that describes the relationships between pressure, volume, and temperature of a gas. The combined gas law combines Boyle's law, Charles's law, and Galesac's law. The subscript 1 refers to the gas conditions before a change, and subscript 2 refers to the gas conditions after a change. The temperature must be in Kelvin. 
The ideal gas equation includes all four variables, pressure, volume, temperature, and number of moles. The equation P times V is equal to N times R times T describes the physical behavior of an ideal gas. R is the ideal gas constant and is equal to 8.31 and its units are liter times kilopascal divided by Kelvin and divided by mole. Although an ideal gas does not exist, this equation works well for real gases as well under most conditions. The particles in real gases, although small, have volume and have attractions for one another. These attractions allow a gas to change to a liquid when it is compressed or cooled. When compressed, the size of the particles becomes important. Gas particles move so fast that they usually don't feel the attractions, but low temperatures cause the particles to slow down and feel the attractions. Therefore, a real gas obeys the gas laws at high temperatures and low pressures. In a mixture of gases, the total pressure is equal to the sum of the pressures of all gases. This figure shows how the pressures of the two gases affects the total pressure when the gases are mixed. The pressure exerted by one gas in the mixture does not affect the pressure of the other gas. Dalton's law states that the total pressure of a mixture of gases equals the sum of the partial pressures of the gases in the mixture. The partial pressure is the contribution each gas in a mixture of gases makes to the total pressure. In a gas mixture, the percent composition of a component, expressed in volume percent, is related to the partial pressure of the component. In this table, the volume percent of the different components in dry air are given. Dry air is air that does not contain water vapor. If the total pressure is known, the partial pressure of each component can be calculated. In the last part of this video, we will discuss Graham's law of diffusion and effusion. Remove the cover on top of a tube filled with bromine vapor and put a tube filled with air on top of it. The bromine vapor will diffuse upwards through the air to an area with a lower bromine concentration. This process continues until bromine vapor is spread evenly throughout. At that point in time equilibrium is reached. Diffusion is defined as the tendency of molecules to move toward areas of lower concentration. This process continues until the concentration is uniform throughout. Graham discovered that molecules with a low molar mass diffuse faster than molecules with a large molar mass. This is because for a given kinetic energy, heavier particles move more slowly than lighter particles. Effusion is the process that occurs. When a gas escapes through a tiny hole, or through many tiny holes, in a container. Graham discovered that a gas's rate of effusion is related to its molar mass. Note, if two objects have the same kinetic energy, the lighter object must move faster. Compare two latex balloons, one filled with helium and the other one filled with argon. The helium-filled balloon will deflate faster than the argon-filled balloon.